Hey guys, okay, so just another quick video on metals and just how to create wear and tear on them. Okay, so for your weapons and just metallic surfaces in general, right? So we're just going to go over here to insert and we're going to insert a sphere. Insert and append are kind of the same thing. Append just appends it to the bottom and doesn't have it selected. Insert just inserts it below the current sub tool and it selects it for you. Okay, so we're just going to go over to Dynamesh, Dynamesh this thing. Okay, bump up the resolution. Okay, and just smooth it out. Okay, we've got about 442,000 points. That's not too bad. We're going to go to Standard Brush. Okay, this is going to be the magic brush that we use. We're going to switch off Symmetry. Okay, we're going to go over to Stroke. We're going to click and drag on that thing and just drag it over to the side. We're going to click on the Stroke there, right here. Okay, and then we're going to click on Spray. Okay, just going to spray that on. Okay, next we're going to go to Alpha and drag this in. As you can see, there's no Alpha at the moment. If we just click on that, we can select one. Okay, we're going to select number 23. There's a few there, you can experiment with that, okay? And then you can just click and drag and spray this on, okay? I just got the intensity down by a little bit, and I've just, I'm just using Alt and just the normal version, okay? Next, we're gonna press BTD for Trim Dynamic, okay? And now, as you can see, right, we already have that metallic look going on, so we're just gonna use that just to trim these pieces, right? Because obviously, it doesn't look like metal, but once you add this brush, the Trim Dynamic brush, you can just go over here, right, and just really create that metallic look. And this is pretty much it, right? Like, if you want a really simple metallic wear and tear look, this is it, right? That's it done. Um, but we do want wear and tear. This isn't really wear and tear. This is just a metallic look. So we're going to go over here to Morph Target. And we're going to store our Morph Target, okay? This is going to come in handy a little bit later on. You'll see why in a second. And what we want to do next is select our Clay Buildup. You can use multiple brushes for this, but I prefer the Clay Buildup. Just use Alt, okay, just with a lower intensity, and just gonna click and drag, and just create a few crazy patterns here, right? Doesn't have to be exact, okay? Then we're gonna go over to our Morph Rush, that's BMG, okay, right there. And then we're gonna use this to morph out back to our Morph Target, right? So we're basically saying, take this and erase it back to what we had. But we're not doing the whole thing, we're just doing it on pieces, right? So that way, it looks like there's grooves in this metal, right? Sort of like as you know it was dented or knocked and scabbed right so you've got pieces like this okay you can get a little bit creative here right so you're adding a little bit of uh, less of that random look or more of a random look rather and less of that generated sort of computer look okay and that doesn't look too bad so we can go over with the damn standard as well and create a line and another one with the alt just add some you know quick scratches here okay you can go in here as well and just add a few pieces as well I'm just doing this really quickly, so you also have to just take a little bit of care and you get some really cool results, okay? And you can do that as well and then use the Morph Target along with this, or the Morph Brush rather. Okay, and as you can see, you can get pretty creative, right? You can go as detailed as you want or as simple as you want, right? But that's just, you know, that's the gist of it, right? Another thing you can do is right-click and go into Textured Metal. Um, another thing you can do, yeah, you just go over there, you're going to click the standard brush, click on MRGB, you're going to click on full object, this is going to fill it with a color. Okay, you can go to color and full object is right, right there. Okay, we're just going to bring this down to a darker color, we're going to go to BPA for the paintbrush. Okay, just to show you, you know, you can paint different colors, I just want to paint a darker color, right, something like that. I want to change the RGB intensity, okay, uh, just to something a little bit lower, so it's not too intense with the application of the paint. And I wanna go over here to Mask by Cavity. This is pretty useful. You're gonna hit Mask by Cavity. It's gonna mask the holes, basically. We wanna invert that by clicking out of the object. And now we can paint on the unmasked areas, which will be just on the grooves and the holes. Right, just painting with a darker color. Okay, when you unmask it, you can now see, you know, these little grooves have a little bit of dark in them, right? So that doesn't look too bad. And again, you can get pretty creative with the coloring if you want to spend a little bit more time with it, All right? There's quite a few options here. So I'm just gonna go back to my model here, and this is how what I did to create my Batman uh, model here, All right? I didn't go as detailed because I was being pretty quick with this uh, with this model, but as you can see here, I'm just using the same technique, right? Just using the damn standard, right? And using the morph target, again, clay build up, just to get in these nicks, right? And again, using the morph target. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So now you know how to create a little bit of textured materials or metals rather, and just a little bit of wear and tear. And also how to color it as well. So that's it for this one, guys. I will see you in the next one.